All right, Chad, thanks. Now back to our top local stories. The West Lafayette City Council votes to move forward with the proposed annexation. Because of tonight's divided vote, the discussion and public process will continue. News 18's Brittany Tyner reports the special meeting got heated as residents voiced their concerns about annexation. Brittany? Well, Dan, a common question that was asked tonight was, what will the annex people in Wabash Township gain from this? And overall, they're concerned that their property taxes will go up, but the amount of services they will get in return will not be worth it. Residents say they, have, they already have fire protection and they're satisfied with their trash collection. Most seem to understand why the city wants to annex Purdue, but some don't like the fact that the city is trying to annex their neighborhoods. After two hours of public comments, it came time to vote. First, the council voted 6-1 to one on a fiscal plan resolution. Vicki Birch was the only council member to vote against it. The fiscal plan explains what services, what services property owners in the annexed area will receive and how the city will provide them. Birch says the numbers just didn't add up, but she, along with Mayor John Dennis, says the comments from the public were really good. Until I see another resolution or ordinance with the fiscal plan regarding the annexation, uh, I had to I had to vote against it. I was not comfortable with those numbers. Now it's going to be our job to try and make sure that they have a better understanding of what our intent is or to react to those concerns and possibly revisit the actual map that we're looking at annexing. Most people are really happy with what they get. Uh, our money would go up but our service is down and uh, we wouldn't be getting many of the recreational type of things. It was a unanimous vote for the ordinance to move conversations along. Birch, along with other council members, stated they wanted the discussion to continue. Mayor Dennis says the next steps include getting out in the public and going to neighborhood meetings. He says the city must now mail out certified letters, keeping the people in the proposed annexed area informed. He says a second reading won't take place for at least another six months. Brittany Tyner, News 18.